Was it cut us off? And now we're back live on air again. So hopefully there wasn't too much of a disruption. But the point is, is that um, I was reading here. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish. Because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. Friends, it's, my, it's been a mission of mine, again, a mandate from the Lord, to preach about salvation to preach the good news of salvation. You know, some may say, well, evangelists, you know, you, you always bring us these headlines and end times. Well, yeah, that's the ministry that I have. You don't, you know, nobody has to tune in. <laughs> if you tune in, I really believe it's a gift from God so that you can understand the times that we're living in because in the work of this ministry, he provides you not just with the word and not just with information, but with the spirit of God to be able to handle what you hear. And the strength that is needed and, and, and required, and, and so much more. The work of the Holy Spirit is so. Um, it, 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 he, he, he does what only He does during these broadcasts to reach you, the precious people, the viewer, so that you will not perish, so that you won't have lack of faith, so that you won't be afraid. So here it says, with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, we preach so that people won't perish. And yet, there, listen, the, there are people that are perishing. And some are perishing on purpose. They're looking forward to this man of sin, this son of perdition, this lawless one to be revealed. They're looking forward to exalting him above all gods, calling him God Almighty. They're looking forward to all of this. And it says that it's going to happen with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. They didn't want to receive the love of the truth. They may have heard the truth, but they didn't want to receive the love of the truth. Because listen, when we hear truth, sometimes, if not all the time, especially for a person who's not saved, it, it, it rubs them the wrong way. Even if you are saved, and if you heard the truth, it can rub you the wrong way. And it may not, you, don't, you know, you may not want it to, but it could happen. That's why the love is necessary. The love is needful. So that when you receive the truth in love, it, it does, it's not sandpaper. It, it's, it's not well received and you're able to benefit. You're able to grow now from that. You're, you're able to mature. A lot of things, benefits, blessings come on your behalf, in your favor. When you receive the love of the truth... So that you can ultimately be saved. Well, here, these people, there's going to be a people in the times that we're living in that they're not going to receive that. They're not interested in receiving it. They want to be deceived. They want Satan to work all power, signs, and lying wonders before them so that they can be in awe, so that they can be in that slumbered stupor. They can be in that, um, what's it called? It's a, yeah, like a euphoria in an alternate reality if you will they want to be lied to they want to be deceived they don't want to be saved and listen god knows this it, it that may sound hard to believe like well who's like that listen it's not for us to figure out who's like that and who's not just make sure you're not like that make sure that you're not part of this group because this group is alive and and they're here on this planet and they're in a variety of places and they blaspheme God, they go against God. And here, here in verse 11, it says the following. And I got to end the broadcast. It says, and for this reason, everything I just shared with you with, I mean, with, you know, with this last, you know, few minutes here, for this reason, God himself will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. You can't serve two gods. Jesus himself said, you're going to love the one and hate the other. You're going to hate the one and love the other. You can't serve God and mammon, right? The word of God tells us that a double-minded man is unstable in all their ways. Don't think that whatever you even ask of the Lord that you're going to receive because you're, you're unstable. You're, you have two minds. And so if you have pleasure in unrighteousness... 
you certainly do not find pleasure or joy in truth. You hate it. You abhor it. You love the one and hate the other. And again, God knows this. And he's going to seal the deal for so many people. And we're living in those times. We're living in very dark times. We're living in times of great deception. The Bible says that evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse deceiving and being deceived. Now, you're tuning in and you don't want to be deceived. You want to receive the knowledge of the truth so that you can be saved. You want to be born again. You want to have your name written in, in the Lamb's Book of Life. You don't want to be sent a strong delusion, not by Satan, but by God himself, so that you can be condemned. You, you don't want that. You need to cry out to God to save you. And it's easy to be saved. Jesus made the way where, where there was no way. Jesus is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. And no man comes to the Father except through Jesus. And so now you don't have to be in a position of dying without Christ. You don't have to perish. You can receive the forgiveness of your sins. You, you can be cleansed from all unrighteousness. And you can be in right standing with God for the first time in your life. Now is that time. Now is the day of salvation. Don't sit on this. Don't wait on it on this another moment. Go before God now. And you may say, well, you know, go before him where? You don't have to go anywhere. Just right where you're at. Go before God and cry out to him to save you. Cry out to Jesus to save you. He knows you. You're not a stranger to him. He knows your name. He knows where you live. He knows your heart. Cry out to him. To save you and he will. I have to end the broadcast. Friends, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's Open Your Eyes People broadcast. As always, it is a privilege and a pleasure to bring to you all the Word of God headlines from around the world matching biblical prophecy. Until the next report, stay hidden in Christ and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth because he deserves all glory. He's coming again very soon. And every eye will see him. God bless you. Bye-bye.